Another is good director of Africa for a tap tap send. Daryl Mauto Abraham has said that taxes for the e commerce industry shouldn't hamper the growth of the sector. The Institute of Economic Affairs called for government to enact a robust e commerce levy to tax their transactions. Mr. Abraham contends that the levy should be properly implemented and should not act as a barrier to innovation. Well, tax is not a bad thing. Tax is a good thing. I totally believe that. It's good to tax the right places at the right time for the right reasons, right? And that's, that's what's important. It's not so much about e-levy. So can we tax more e-commerce stuff? Yes, you can. Where is that tax? That tax should not end up in the pockets of people. That tax should be a corporate tax. That tax should be on the companies who are selling things or the companies who are dealing in Ghana. The DRA should be expanding the tax net by dealing with the companies and bring, make sure that corporation tax within the e-commerce space works. And I'll be, I'm a big fan of that and I want that to increase. What I don't want to happen is to put taxes in the way which means that it stifles innovation and it stops people developing new products because they feel that there'll be a tax on it so therefore they won't do it. So yeah, E-Levy should go but increase e-commerce tax, yes you can, but put it in a place where it makes sense and not in a place where it stifles innovation and stops innovation from happening. I think one of the biggest things is education and exposure, right? So the fintech industry is not yet connected to education. So lots of people are going through school not knowing what fintech is. Lots of university students are graduating having no idea what fintech is. What we should be doing now is opening access and educating uh, people who are in universities, people who are coming through the system, the young ones, to embrace fintech, be curious about fintech, find out what it is. There is a range of things that fintech means. It covers a broad range of things, but most of our young people don't know what it is. So let's open access, let's connect the fintech industry to education system to make sure that people who are going through school understand what fintech is and know that they can have careers and futures in fintech instead of the traditional, oh, I'm going to work in a bank. Yeah, that's great, but you could also work in fintech.